Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy and development in Nigeria and around the world. Femi Falana, human rights activist and senior advocate of Nigeria, who is also a lawyer to the River State Government, has called on the Federal High Court in Abuja to reassign a, a case that was brought before it by the Martins Amehule led River State House of Assembly that is lawyer to former governor of River State and now Minister of the Federal Capital Territory Abuja Yesomike to reassign the case to River State High Court. According to Femi Falana, this is because they do not believe that they will get fear hearing in Abuja. Martin Sami, who led River State House of Assembly, had gone to court, to, had gone to Federal High Court in Abuja to stop the, the, the remit, remittance of local government allocations to River State government. And they have also tried to stop all the federal allocations from getting to River State government. Or in other words, they are challenging the Governor Simu Fubara's accessibility to the funds of River State. They want to stop the funds of River State from getting to River State. Now, Femi Falana, who is a lawyer for the River State government, has written a letter demanding that the courts should transfer the case from Federal High Court Abuja to Federal High Court in Port Harcourt or River State. And Femi Falana cited several instances where the Federal High Court in Abuja has referred cases to state high court because they don't have jurisdiction or the matter in question has to do with a particular state and it will be more appropriate for, for the matter to be heard in that state. And one interesting thing that Femi Falana said is that they do not hope to get justice in Abuja also because Yes, so we can. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory Abuja is an interesting party in the in the case in the first state. You know, earlier on I told you that Amehule is a uh, pro yes, so we can lawmakers. These are people that defected from the APC, from the PDP to the APC. By that defection, which was a violation of Section 109G of the 1999 Constitution. It is believed that they have lost their seats. In fact, the uh, Victor Okujombo led House of As the River State House of Assembly had already declared their seat vacant since uh, December 2023. But they are still claiming that they didn't defect, that they are still in PDP. But the whole world held them. They were seen carrying the flags of the APC. Even President Bola Metinbu welcomed them when there was a peace, bro uh, when he broke up peace between uh, Simi Fubara, the incumbent governor, and former governor Yeshomike at the presidential villa. He said he cannot reject them. He accepted them that they are now members of his party. Okay? But they are now saying they are not, that they are still lawmakers under the uh, River State government and that they are still PDP members. So these people are doing everything possible to undermine Fubara's administration. Okay? And one of the things they have done is to go to court to stop the federal allocation getting to reverse state government. Now, Femi Falana smartly drew attention to the fact that Yesu Mike is an interested party in the matter in Abuja High Court. And yes, Umke is the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory Abuja. And he refer referenced the fact that yes, Umke is 
planning to build 40 houses, 40 quarters for judges in Abuja. And he said that 10 of the houses will be, 10 of the quarters will be for Federal High Court Abuja. In other words, he was saying that since Yesomike is doing that for the judges, that there's no way that they can get justice in Abuja because already Yesomike is in bed with the judges in Abuja. That's what that's the argument Falana is making. By the virtue of that act, Yesomike. The part of that relationship between Yesomike and uh, the judges in Abuja, that there is no way they are going to get fair judgment. I think that's a reasonable position to hold. Already, remember, uh, uh, the, um, former, former, former the chairman of uh, uh, National Human Rights Commission, Professor Chedon Nkano, a lawyer, and uh, one of the brightest minds we have in legal profession in Nigeria, has already kicked against the process in which Yesomike is building houses for judges in Abuja. Recall that recently, uh, uh, Yesomike uh, commissioned the kickoff or inaugurated the kickoff of the construction of uh, 40 quarters for judges or justices in Abuja or judges in Abuja, which was uh, uh, inaugurated or witnessed by the Chief Justice of the Federation, Ekeredu. And uh, but in Carlo said that this is not right. Because yes, Omike did not only allocate the land to them, he narrated a story that he was driving around Abuja looking for land when he saw that in that space. He called the director of land and asked him, How who is the owner of this land? They told him that it was allocated to Julius Baker 20 years ago. And they said that the Jidomega have not been profit for 20 years. And he then, uh, yes, okay, narrated that he invited the, uh, the, 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 the boss of Jilos Bega for, for a dinner or something like that. And that uh, after they had a dinner and they've written, the man left the next day, he sent them letter that the allocation had been withdrawn. And it was that allocation that he had now handed over to the justices for their for their courts, for their quarters to be built on. And Odin Kalu was drawing attention that look, the Chief Justice of the Federation was there when he was narrating this thing. In other words, if Julius Bega were to go to court to contest that forceful acquisition of their of their allocation. There is already a conflict of interest by the justices that the, the Julius Baker will not get justice. And that is what is worrisome to many people. And how foreign investors will see things like this. So Femi Farana has keyed into that and is now using it to draw attention to the dangers in closeness between the executive and, and the judiciary, especially in this case of building houses for judges. Because as Falana noted, building of houses is the responsibility of National Judicial Council. It's not the business of years or weekend of President Bola Metinubu to build houses for judges. It's not their business. If they're so concerned about accommodation challenges, workers face in Abuja, why have they not built houses for teachers, for nurses? Why have they not built houses for all the civil servants that are coming from the satellite town to the city every day? Why are they fixated in making 
providing accommodation for the injustices, when that is the responsibility of the National Judicial Council, as pointed out by Femi Falano. I think the judiciary has brought attention to itself that is worrisome. That's what Femi Falana is saying. That's what Chido and Kamu is saying. And let us see how it pan out. What is your position about this tendency of always trying to provide accommodation for justices when they have National Judicial Council? That is their responsibility to provide accommodation for justices that wouldn't have uh, raised an eyebrow because that is their responsibility. And it is interesting that even when Nia Somike was inaugurating the kickoff of that uh, quarters for justices, he said that they did it for judicial independence. Faranam take a knock on that. He said that is not an indication of judicial independence. Judicial independence is when you allow the justices to get their accommodation from NJC, National Judicial Council. There is their responsibility to provide accommodation for them. So, the idea that the executive is helping them to provide accommodation and still claim that is a sign that uh, they want the judiciary to be independent, that has been locked by Falana in that letter and by uh, Chide, Professor Chide Orenkalu. In other words, whatever is the outcome that the Federal High Court in Abuja decided, you will now see it from the prison, from what Falana said. If they go against Fubara, it is because Falana is saying that they are in bed with Yesu Mike, who has provided accommodation for them. They can only, the only thing that will save them now is to ensure that that case is returned to the first state high court. So that there will be no, at least on the surface, there will be no feeling that the justices of the Federal High Court in Abuja have been compromised because they have been promised accommodation by the FCT minister. I don't know what you think about this. I want to think about Falana's letter and uh, what you think about this tendency of Tinubu administration building houses for just justices when they are not building houses for teachers, nurses, doctors, and several other workers that deserve accommodation. Whatever is your position, let's hear from you at the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell, Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, God will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.